What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be creating an image upload in a couple minutes. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. If we take a look at our create endpoint, you'll see that we got a select a file button right here, where we upload a file related to the blog post. When working with file uploads, you don't want to store the entire image inside the database, but you simply want to store the image somewhere inside a public folder, while you then store the path inside the database. Now we're not going to add the functionality where we store our image inside the store method right here, but we will be doing it inside a separate function right at the bottom of our controller. The method that we're going to use right here will only be visible inside our post controller. So we're going to make a private method or function called store image. We do need to get the request from the store method. So let's pass it in as a parameter. So dollar sign request. And then we're going to convert the name of our image because we don't want to give users the chance to store images with the same exact name. So let's define a new variable inside our private function store image called new image name, where the value will be the unique ID method, where we are going to concatenate a dash and then concatenate one more time because we want to add the request title to it. So a unique ID followed with the title. Now the new image name that we have right here does not have a file extension, but it's simply a name. Now through the request, we can also access the image that we've uploaded and then we can change the file extension to it. So let's do that. Let's concatenate a dot and let's concatenate the request image extension method. Finally, we can return the request image and we're going to move it. Now the move method accepts two parameters, the location where you want to move it to and the file name. Now the location will be the public underscore path method, which will look inside the public method. Then we're going to add a string right here because we want to store it inside the images folder. If the folder doesn't exist, the images folder will be created as well. Then the second parameter will be the file name, which is the new image name. Simple as that. Let's make sure that we handle it off inside the store method. Let's scroll to the top and let's replace our temporary string right here with this, which allows us to call any method inside the post controller but we will call the store image method. Remember, we did add a parameter of request inside our store image method. So let's make sure that we return or send this request object. So let's do that. Now let's test it out. Let's save it, navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh the page, check the is published. Let's say post four, excerpt, post with image, minutes to read, test body. Now let's select a file. I've already selected, I just cut that part out. Let's click on submit. We have been redirected to our forward slash blog endpoint. If we navigate to Visual Studio Code, open our database or post table, refresh it right here, you'll see that we have an image path, which is the full path to our public folder. Let me open it right here. So my computer, Laravel app, public images, and a string right here. Now let's check it out inside the public folder in the root of our directory. So where is it hidden? Right here. We've got public images and we got our hashed image, which is a thumbnail of my video. This was it for this video where we dived into a simple image upload in Laravel. In the next video, we're going to cover validating user data from the browser. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.